missionaries who look Asian like myself um, who go to Japan or go to an Asian country if you look like the people whose country you're in they expect you to speak that language and so it wasn't as big of a problem for me but you know there's all these third generation Japanese uh, kids who get called and serve missions in Japan and they have Japanese last names like Tsukamoto or uh, Nakanishi or, or whatever it is and so their name tag is in Japanese it has Japanese characters and they look Japanese and so whether it's members or people you're just talking to they automatically assume if you're with a like a Caucasian companion that you're the one that knows how to speak Japanese <laughs> even if the your companion is the one that knows how to speak Japanese and you don't speak a lick of Japanese and so that's uh, kind of a, a struggle for for those types uh, a unique struggle for for missionaries like that um, which I felt bad for them uh, but you know they, they pick it up pretty quickly it's out of greater necessity because it's that responsibility is sort of thrust upon them. But there's a, a funny YouTube video that, that kind of shows the struggle of that. That there's all five um, Caucasian looking people and one Japanese looking person. And the wait waitress only talks to the, the Japanese looking person even though that person's the only one that doesn't know how to speak Japanese. And all the other ones speak fluent Japanese but because she already thinks that they don't speak Japanese because they're foreign looking. Even when they're speaking Japanese they don't understand because they don't think that they can be speaking Japanese. So that's one struggle that a foreign missionary has run into if they have um, companion is sometimes they don't really feel like they're being understood or they can be understood. But it's, it's funny at the same time on once you're on the other side of it.